Welcome everybody. It's wonderful to be here together in this, these terrible times when we're gonna have an hour of peace, a little laughing, I hope, or maybe a little crying over somebody's problem from a hundred years ago. Uh, and our honored, honored guest, not guest, um, our muse, Judy Altman is here in person. Judula, can you take it away with the Bindle Brief? All right, I feel like all the shame of Greece, and I think they are little of the thing is in the head. And you will say, oh, be hit from all the schlecht. And I will read the hand and brief, so they are interesting. The brief is geschrieben geworden am April, the 5th of April, 1930. Would you like to go on with us? I'm going to translate. Um, um, this letter, first of all, she wants to welcome everybody and hope that everybody stays well um, and, and happy to find everybody well. And the, the letter was written in April. Um, and you'll have to say the date again in Yiddish. In 5th in April. The 5th of April. of April, Nansen in 1913. Wow. 30. Oh my 30, God. 30, 30, yeah. 30. Okay. Is, this is a, the host is quite language. Okay. She is a young maiden and had a great success in her life. She's a very nice young woman and uh, or girl and she had a lot of trouble in her life. Okay. It's the is he told given in the is for zweifel. Now she's uh she's become deaf and she's and I don't know about zweifel. What is that word? She's uh, desperate. She's desperate. desperate okay. The is for zweifel. The the red says a rope can the bills of operating in her heart. She wants to speak from her heart. Right. So desperate. Judy, we can't see you because the, you're holding the in front of your face. Oh, then, uh, now this is better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She feels sich as so unglücklich, do she can a viele mit ihren zu ihre Eltern nicht erzählen. Yeah. She feels so unlucky that she can't even uh, speak to her parents about it. Wer tellt das Tor von vorwärts? Ich bin Ich bin, ich lese jeden, jede Zeitung von, von eurem Bindelbrief und ich bin sehr, sehr interessiert. Uh, dear um, editor of the forward, uh, the doctor of the forward, um, I read every day, I read all of your Bindelbriefs and, I, and I'm very interested in them. Okay. Ich bin in Amerika a sehr kurze Zeit. But I have very lieb to read in your brief because your emperor is very good and very intelligent. Um, I've been in America for a short time, but I'm very happy to read your your letters because your answers are very intelligent and very um, well written. And your answers are very good. And your uh, your advice is very good. In, uh, in Bentel Brief, Finn uh, fin Forbert, uh, aber gelesen den 19. Februar, aber ein uh, uh, um, Mail schreibt, als sie ist teub geworden. And on the 19th of February, I read in your paper that there's a, a woman wrote that she became deaf. And sie ist, sie ist sehr, sehr unglücklich mit dem. She's very unlucky. very unlucky with that. Mm -hmm. And it makes her life very bitter. Okay, and I'm also, I'm such a life that they're happy, right? Um, and I want to tell you from my, not source, but my story or my situation. Ich bin a green male. Erst finde ich in America. 
I'm uh, an, an immigrant, Greena, and I'm five years in America. Yeah, greenhorn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A green girl, yeah. <laughs> And, and I, I already had a lot of things that have happened, difficult difficulties. I, I, I was, I'm here not five years, but but I, feel, but I feel like it's 50, 50 years. years yeah. yeah. My tourists are like, like 50 years. Okay. Because of my troubles, yeah. yeah. Today is old Kenan Besset Hashtain, a man of tourists, a man of life. We left off our Oshra Mabisl, a man living you, a man living you. So that you understand about my troubles, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my early years. Early life, yeah. I come from a small town in Poland. Man Putel is also is a very full can America, Zich and Panusa, and hot Ibegalos man and mama with dry cleaner kinder. My father uh, went to America to look for um work and left my uh, mother and three small children. He didn't even leave a few pennies to, uh, to buy food. I was six years old then. You can just alleen vorstellen. You can only imagine what kind of a life my mother had. And until we had, until we saw, uh, like human beings, until we grew up. Oh, all right. Okay. Man, 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 in America, okay, my father also didn't have a good life. And at the beginning, he didn't even make enough money to have a good life for himself and to, to live. He didn't even have any money to send back to us. When my father finally uh, got established a little, he sent a few dollars to my mother and to us. And he couldn't get good, couldn't adapt to the American, American life. life yeah. So now our real trouble started. If been then showing all given ten year. And in ich hab schon du verstanden, as ich will for armen ich will not missen help my mama. I was uh, by now I was ten years old and I understood that I was the one who needed to help my mother. Leider ich hab nicht gekannt lesen, hab nicht getroffen a Lehrer, hab mich gemisst allein lernen, wie soll ich zu lesen und zu schreiben. And also, I couldn't uh, read, and I had to teach myself how to read and to write.